Greetings everyone. Geometric progression ECZ 2016 paper 2. So we are going to answer this question here. And the question reads the first three terms of a GP or geometric progression are x plus 1, x minus 3, and x minus uh, 1. L find the value of x. Find the first term. Find the sum to infinity. So, let's just copy the question. I mean, the progression or the terms that were given. We have x plus 1. We have x plus 1. We have x minus 3 and we have x minus uh, 1. So, we are asked to find the value of x at the first question, which is 3 max. Find the value of x. Now, the way you can find the value of x, you use proportions for calculating common ratio. So, it will be t2 divided by t1, which is equal to t3 over t2. So now, according to this question, this is our first term, second term, and third term. So we substitute the way they are. T2 is x minus 3. T, T1 is x plus 1. Is equal to T3 x minus 1 over t2 which is x minus 3 then you cross multiply you cross multiply now when you multiply you foil so let me just write like this x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 1 is equal to x minus 3 multiplied by x minus 3 so this x will be multiplied with everything here. So it will be x times x, x squared, x times negative 1, negative x. And this positive 1 will be multiplied as well with this. 1, plus, 1 times x, it's just x. Negative 1 times positive 1 is just negative 1. Is equal to, you do the same even this side. It will be x times x, x squared, x times negative 3 is negative 3x, negative 3 times x is negative 3x, negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Okay, we have like terms. So x squared, if you look at this one, negative x plus x is 0, so this will cancel. We remain with the minus 1 is equal to x squared, negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6x plus 9. Remember, when you are um, subtracting two numbers, or when you have two numbers with negative signs, you add and get the negative sign. All right. So since this one is on the other side and this positive on this side is positive, so this one will cancel and this one will cancel. Then you collect like terms. Okay. So you have negative 1. Minus 9. This 9 will cross the cosine and become uh, and becomes negative 9. Is equal to negative 6x. Negative 1 minus 9 is negative 10. Is equal to negative 6x. So you divide both sides by negative 6. Even this side negative 6. This 6 and 6 will cancel. x is equal to negative and negative will cancel. A number which can go into 2, into 6 and... 10 is 2, 2 into 10, 5 into 6, 3. So the value of x is 5 over 3. And this question is 3 marks. And this one is question A. Question B. We are asked to find the first term. We are asked to find the first term. So if you look at this one, the first term is x plus 1. That's the first term. So where there is x, and this is just an expression. So to find the actual number, we're going to substitute the value of x here with 5 over 3 plus 1. Remember, when you're adding 1, is the same as 
since the denominator here is 3, same as you write 3 over 3 here, 1 times 3 is 3, so common denominator is 3 here. Sorry, I was capturing somewhere else. So x plus 1 is the first term. So you substitute the value of x with 5 and 3 plus 1. Then common denominator is 3. So the simplest way you can do whatever number is here will be the denominator will be the in the fraction here as 3 over 3. If it was 2, it would be 2 over 2. If it was 5, 5 over 5. Then 1 times 3, 3, 3 plus 5, 8. So the first term is 3 over 8. Question, the last question, calculate the sum to infinity. So to find the sum to infinity, the formula is sum the infinity symbol is equal to first term over 1 minus the common ratio. And this question is 3 marks. It's given 3 marks. Now, this 3 marks is not that it's for calculating sum to infinity. But it's for finding other terms as well. So, for us to find the sum to infinity, we need the first term of which here is 8 over 3. And we also need the common ratio of which we don't know. To find the common ratio, we need the second term. So, let's first find the second term, then find the common ratio. So, the second term is... The second term is x minus 3. And the value of x we found here as 5 over 3 minus 3. So like I said here, the denominator of this fraction is 3. So it be 3 over 3. 3 times 3, 9. 5 minus 9 is negative 4 over 3. So the second term, which is t2, the second term is negative 4 over 3. Therefore, to find the common ratio will be t2 which is negative 4 over 3 divided by first term which is 8 over 3. So this 3 and this 3 cancel. The common ratio is negative 4 over 8 which is just uh, 4 there 1 2. So the common ratio is negative 1 over 2. So the common ratio is negative 1 over 2. Then we can find the sum to infinity. So the sum to infinity here now will be the um, s first term is 8 over 3 over 1 minus common ratio which is negative 1 over 2. So negative negative here uh, will cancel. In other words we have 8 over 3 divided by 1 plus 1 plus half. Now, let me just show you something here. So, 1 plus half. Remember, since this is the 2, is the same as 2 over 2. 2 times 1, 2 plus 1, 3. So, 3 over 2 common denominator, 3. So, it is 8 over 3 here 8 over 3 divided by the answer found there which is 3 over 2 okay then this will be cross multiply it will be 8 times 2 which is 16 divided by 3 times 3 9 so 9 into 16 is one time remainder 7 over 9 and this is the sum to the sum to infinity